This video is for you Randy Farin for providing this amazing bow. Few year back I saw some video about a bending fiberglass bow on Armin Harman YouTube channel. That particular bending fiberglass bow was giving 174 fps with 8.4 gpp arrow. The place where I live have cold and humid climate half of the year. So I cannot shoot my laminated bow throughout the year. I want to shoot a bow whose boundary is between my 60 pound and 90 pound war bow so that I can increase my draw strength. So I decided to order a custom made bending fiberglass bow with my specific requirements and posted it on a Atan traditional Asian archery page. And one bow maker company responded with was based on Indonesia. I ordered a 73 to 75 pound bow at 28 inch true draw length durable fast design bow which can be pulled up to 30 inch true draw length safely and 31 inch true draw length maximum draw length. I asked him to make a durable and fast bow because I was already shooting at 50 meter distance and I wanted to increase my target distance so I could shoot at 70 and 80 meter range. I asked him to use as much as threading as he can use at points where bow have chance of delimitation or breaking because I wanted a durable bow. Bow maker used threading on total 8 different points of this bow. Bow maker told me to give him 4 month time because until now he never made bow that was this heavy so I have to wait patiently for 5 months because he failed in previous 2 attempts. After 5 months he told me bow was 73 pound at 28 inch to draw. There was no courier service up to my town directly. I asked him to send this bow to Jasminder Pal Singh who is a renowned Indian traditional archer. He is the person who introduced me to archery. Jaspinder Pal Singh also have a YouTube channel, Singh Archery. He was also interest, interested in knowing performance of this bow. So he take his time to make a video about this bow. <laughs> he measured bow 70 pound at 28 inch true draw length, 75 pound at 29 inch and 80 pound at 30 inch true draw length. Place height was 7 inch and bow was only 44 inch in length from knock to knock. 7 months later when I measured draw weight it achieved 70 pound mark much earlier than 28 inch true draw length. My first shooting experience. In winter it is not easy to draw this bow without initial body warm up. I have to warm up myself by drawing this bow 10 times with the 3 finger and 10 times with the thumb. Using wooden thumb ring is which was made by Jatinder Pal Singh. I use Eastern 2318 aluminium 300 spine 34 inch shaft length 45 gram arrow using 20, 250 grain arrow point. I was using 3 inch parabolic turkey feather fletching and I was amazed by the speed of the bow. Initially, I was able to draw this bow only up to 27 inch true draw length using Vermil classic thumb ring. But with the wooden thumb ring, I could easily draw up to 30 inch true draw length and hold for longer duration than Vermil classic thumb ring. Bow was giving same experience like 60 pound daylight phoenix bow at 29.5 inch true draw length using 38 gram arrow with Vermil classic thumb ring. I was using only tip of the index finger for thumb draw. I have to aim at the bottom of the target at 50 meter distance and target was placed at 8 to 10 feet height. To my wonder bow was giving same experience as a carbon laminated bow. One day I tried to test how far this bow could shoot at a 45 gram arrow. 
I shoot the bow without any string slap on the bow head using only tip the index finger. For 15 days, I was unable to find my arrow. On 25th day, I found arrow 10 meters farther than as I expected arrow will land. Total distance was more than 80 meters and place where arrow landed was 2 to 3 story high. That day I realized a well-made short bending fiberglass bow with small shea can give same performance as a laminate bow. <laughs> this particular bow can shoot easily up 150 meter distance or maybe more. If you have want to order this bow, you can contact Randy Farin from Indonesia. He also has a Facebook profile named Takrir Bhutan Job. Do I face any problem with the bow? Yes, there was mild problem with the glue at the handle of the bow. I was putting some pressure at particular point of the bow handle during shoot and at that particular point glue become loose. So I put some kick glue at that point and tie it with surgical cloth tape. The experience is not that good but if you can master a stable bow hand and expanding release, this bow can give quite accurate result after some time and it all depends on practice. Plantation was 7 inch on 100 kg per cubic meter hard EVA form target. Let's see how far this arrow goes with this bow and, and I'm using the tip of my index finger to draw and draw is up to 29 inch. Ok guys here I found my arrow after 15 minutes of searching and I, I cannot believe this arrow can come this far because this place is more than 130 meter distance from place of shooting and this mountain top is at least 3 story high. So, as you can see, this air uh, I've walked more than 40 or maybe 45 steps and distance. As you can see, here is, here is my camera <laughs> stand, and this distance is at least 90 to 100 meter. So, I cannot believe this arrow could come this far. So, the target is 50 meter distance from here and you can see top that might be at least 90 meter and this arrow goes beyond 90 meter and maybe 130 meter. Bow makers. Number one, never lie about the bondage of the bow and the tell buyer your problem you are facing during making custom bow so that he can cooperate with you and regarding the difficulty you face during bow making. Number two, if buyer want a durable bow, give him information about the thing that can increase durability of the bow like threading at multiple points rather than supplying a very beautiful but weak bow which could break easily. Measure the bow draw weight at different draw length and record it and send it to buyer before researching your bow. This way bow maker can assure quality and value of the product rather than being sorry later for supplying under bondage bow to customer. Number 4. Give him an idea about the approximate time it will take to build a particular bow of customer. If you face any difficulty, tell him about it and approximate time. Problem with the bending fiberglass bow. Bending fiberglass bow can lose their bondage during course course of the time. In my experience, this particular bow have not lost its bondage till now, but I cannot say about other bow. Some bowyer charge up to $285 for a 100 pound bow, bending fiberglass bow, which is more than 3k 
कार्बन लेमिनेटेड बो कीप ट्रैक ऑफ योर एक्सपेंडिचर यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू ओवर स्पेंड ऑन दिस डिजाइन ऑफ बो बैंडिंग फाइबलस बो टेस्ट आफ्टर सम टाइम बट ऑल बो आर सबल टू टेस्ट आई हैव नॉट एक्सपीरियंस इट टिल नाउ विद दिस बो In my opinion, bending fiberglass bow represents a unique category of the bows, which have its own advantage over any other class of the bow. Either it is horn and sinew, wood fiberglass, carbon laminated bows, or simple fiberglass bow. These bows provide higher speed and range than plain fiberglass bow, but lesser speed and range than well-made fiberglass carbon wood laminated bows. but these bow are somewhat resistant to water which gives them an upper hand over carbon fiberglass and wood laminated bows